Hello, bees, bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Olight just released some very cool brand new stuff. And they've got some other stuff that I think has already been out, but there's going to be huge discounts like there always are in May. But uh, this right here, oh my gosh. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. And then this right here, <laughs> I've already unboxed everything. So that's going to save us some time. I hope you're having a fantastic day because we're going to get right in it. Are you ready? Well, Buckle up, Buttercup, because here we go. Now, this right here, this O-Knife, when I saw what it was, I was like, ooh, I already know I like this one. This is one of my favorite O-Knifes of all times, and they've, they've upgraded it just a little bit, and I'm very excited about it. I had it out. I looked at it. This knife, I'm already recommending. I'm just going to spoil alert for you and tell you right now. The O-Knife Roboto 4 in fat carbon fiber this thing is a daily carry. This thing is awesome. The fact that it's summer right now and I'm wearing lighter weight shorts and things like that, this thing is so incredibly lightweight. I've reviewed this one once or twice before, but let me give you a quick look-see. Look at all those beautiful layers of fat carbon. They've not been on a diet. And you can see right here on the edge, all the layers. It has a reversible deep carry clip. It's easy in and out of the pocket. It's low profile. There are no issues with, I mean, there's really no issues to be heard of with this knife. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Look at that. It's a perfect everyday carry folding pocket knife. It's just that good. S35VN blade steel, baby. Look at that. CBM S35VN. S35VN is one of my favorite. And I'm, I'm not going to spend a long time on this knife because I have nine things in this video to show you. But I can tell you that the fit is 100%. There is no rock, no blade play, no movement at all. And the rail lock system works flawless on this particular one. I mean, it just it has good lockup. It's nice and snappy. And it's very easy. You can even, you can deploy it. You could use one finger. So it's not one of those ones where you have to really grab it with both hands to shut it. It, oh my goodness. I just, I gotta tell you, this is such a good knife. The Ergos, no issues at all. It's rounded off and really smooth and chamfered around those edges. And whenever I film carbon fiber, it always messes with the camera. So we'll see how well the camera can hold up with this. But Holding it like this, and you know I have a large size hand, you can choke up because there's no flipper, so you can choke up just like this, and the, the ergonomics on this knife are 10 out of 10. I'm just going to say it right there, 10 out of 10. No problems, no warm spots, no hot spots, it fits in the hand very nicely, and this is like, this is just one of those perfect EDC knives, and I'm very excited because look, they didn't put the O-knife symbol right in the middle of the blade, so it has a nice clean, crispy look to it. This is a completely ambidextrous knife. It, they did, they're like, we're not getting rid of the logo completely. If they didn't have the logo here, and maybe just stuck a small O-Knife logo just up in the corner, right up there on the Ricasso, that would be even better. Because I don't, I don't like having a logo on my clip, but I bet that would be easily remedied. This looks like a, a clip that would be easily replaced, or you could always uh, take that off yourself. That's just, a, I mean, I guess you could call that a nitpick. That's not much of a nitpick. You're really looking on this knife. But here's the action. This is one you can get out of your pocket, make your cut, put back in your pocket. It is a very good one-handed pocket knife. And you can reverse flick it. I mean, I guess the only thing would be, uh, you know, it doesn't have the traditional choil, but you're good to go for sharpening. I, there's nothing I could say negative. Usually when I'm showing a knife, you know, you're looking for those things that might dissuade people from wanting it. This one... I don't have any, I don't have nothing. And I don't know what the price is on any of this stuff. They haven't sent me the specs. I'm doing this video when I can because, uh, well, you know, I got things to do. And we don't forget on the live stream every Friday night, Bees Blades, live at the high. That's when we'll talk about this stuff and we'll conversate. And, you know, I'll probably be giving this one away. So someone will really enjoy that opportunity. They did an exceptional job in and out of the pocket. It doesn't grab, it doesn't snag. So that's good. 10 out of 10 on the ergos. The fit and the finish are all 10 out of 10. Uh, but you know, it's not often I could get a knife and just have nothing to nitpick. And, and like, I'm not looking for a nitpick, but I'm saying this one is just so good. And it has a full flat grind. It has good blade geometry, nice and thin behind the edge and just gradually goes up. It doesn't have super thick blade stock. So there you go. There's the newest version of the Roboto 4. 
Now, next up, check this out. This is, oh, I could, <laughs> Every, and by the way, I have a cold, so I'm working through it. When I got this, I was like trying to figure it out and I figured it out and I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. This is the O-Knife OKS2 Aluminum Hand Multi-Tool. Did I say that correctly? Look, at, I'm gonna show you all the tools in this real quick. It has 12 tools total, but here's the knife because we all like knives, right? Pow, check it out. Look at that. It's a, and by the way, it is locked and there's no, there's no blade play at all. It is very solid. And this, uh, this steel, I can't believe it's, it's like 1.4116 stainless steel blade. And wow, it came very sharp. This is the kind of steel that is, you know, in multi tools like this, that you can sharpen up really easy and hone in the field, things like that. But here is your liner lock. It has good lock up. It is very smooth. And then let's see, where is it up here? Yeah, right here, you can see it has a glass breaker and it's a ceramic ball bearing. So I bet that would do a very good job in a pinch of cutting some glass. And then right here, it says Roxxon. I can only guess that Roxxon is either desi the designer or a collaboration. Uh, forgive me, I don't know all the names, but it's not a reversible clip, but look at all this stuff in here. You see this? Now this is very, very cool when it comes to multi-tools because usually you're having to use your fingernails to dig the stuff out and pull the stuff out. Look at this, you just push and it pushes all of these tools out. It has the file on this side, it has a Phillips head. On this side, it has a little miniature ruler. I think it's like a whole inch and then, uh, what is it, centimeters? And then it has an owl, 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 whoo, <laughs> not, not an owl. I can't even laugh, I'm so congested. It has a flat head, it has a, uh, what do you call that, a can opener, it's a sharpened can opener and also a bottle opener. And these, look at that, they lock. That is also very, very cool. And to unlock them, you push up right here and that unlocks them. So you use this to deploy and push up to unlock. And yeah, if you put them all out, they're all locked into place. So that is very cool. So far, everything that we've taken out of this knife to check out is locking. Now going over to this side, you're like, I was like, I, you're like, maybe you weren't, but I was, I was like, okay, so there's some kind of tool here. What is it? How do I get it out, right? So this one, you pull out right here and check it out. You <laughs> check it out. Wait, I I seriously cannot laugh right now or I'll flim all over the place. It has little tweezers, which everyone loves and enjoys some tweezers when you get a little splinter. But look at this. Full size baby. Check that out. Full size, very strong. I mean, I was like, whoa, I did not know these were hidden in there. Full size scissors. It doesn't have the little one finger deal, you know, where you can cut like this with one finger. You get full purchase on this bad boy. And I did do some cutting of some different materials, some light rope and things like that. And these are awesome and they're spring loaded. So I, I was not expecting full size scissors in this multi-tool. I don't know how much it costs, but I guarantee everything that's, uh, that's just coming out right now in this May 2024 sale is gonna be on sale. It always is. And if it's not, I have a year round 10% discount code, code BEES10. So there is the new O-Knife OKS2. And I think this thing is very cool. And I don't think I mentioned it before, with the Roboto 4, you get a uh, challenge coin, and I don't even know how to get it out of here. Oh, it's Velcro. So in here, a lot of you folks collect the, the coins. There's O-Knife on that side. And then on this side, it says Roboto 4. Has an eagle, it's kind of that aged brass look. So that's very cool, but I wanted to make sure you knew that that came in that container. And this is also a hook and loop pouch. And now for this bad boy, the brand new model that, oh my gosh, when I got the box, I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Multi-directional illumination, 5,000 max lumens, 5,000 ma rechargeable lithium ion battery. Would you look at this? This is the Olight Prowess. And this thing is, I don't cuss on my channel, but <laughs> I'm tempted. This thing is so freaking cool. It comes with the sheath, these belt sheaths, I love them. I use them every single night when we walk the dog. But let me give you a quick tour of the new Olight Prowess, and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. Right here, you can, it has a battery indicator, or if it's locked, I have it locked, so you can see here if I unlock it. When you turn it on, it'll show green. There's like three or four different colors. It indicates that the amount of power that you have, and this thing has major power, and look at this. See under here, it has the lights up front, and then it has this light, which here, it's like a lantern, and it is extremely bright. I was like, 
whoa, the, I, I'm so excited about this flashlight. I almost said knife, but this flashlight is so cool. And look at this diamond pattern. It's not sharp to the hand, but it feels very, very nice, very nice. It has a blue bezel up here, and look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six LEDs, and they are, well, you know how powerful they are. 5,000 lumens, baby. And this is MCC magnetic cable, and there's some other goodies that came with it. Remind me to show you those here in just a second after we check out the rest of this knife. It has some nice milling right here for your thumb, and it's very comfortable in the hand. It's not it's not too much. This is not what I would call a, a thrower. It is a thrower. It's, it doesn't have the tight beam. It has a more regular beam. So switching to the front and turning the light on, you can see it has a more regular style uh, flashlight throw, if you will. And the going through and then the turbo and then you triple, triple clip, <laughs> triple click for the strobe and oh my gosh now i'm blinded i can't see let me give you a quick look at your specs there's your specs you have moonlight low medium high and turbo and then for the backlight which i'm really excited about you have low and high right well no the low the backlight it just steps up all the way up to 800 lumens which is very very impressive and the, oh i'll get this stuff out of here in just a second so let me show you when you have it up front you have your front light it goes through the regular steps if you hold down and press it will lock out just like all other o lights and then you can't turn it on you hold it down and press it unlocks and then you can hold it down and it will cycle through low medium high and then you could double tap for turbo and then you could triple tap for pow, 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 pow. and then check this out this this is what is so cool lantern mode that's what i'm calling it. it's not what they're calling it but this is the on low you hold it down and it will step up and it gets way brighter than you can even imagine and it double click it double beep double beeps double flashes when it's on high it is extremely extremely bright and it keeps it out of your eyes when it's sitting on the table that is the coolest thing. And then to switch instantly to the front, you just click this. This this is just the coolest thing ever. I love this flashlight. And the fact that it comes with this is very cool. Let me show you what else it comes with. And I was talking to my wife last night and I was like, so it's a flashlight and a lantern. Would you call that a flantern? And we started laughing and then I was like, well, what about a flash turn? And then, well, I wanna know what would you call this flashlight? I mean, I know that it's called the Olight Prowess but it kind of reminds me of a flashlight uh, lantern combo. And here, here's the packaging. You know, they always have really nice packaging. I'm just gonna show you this cool stuff that came with it, if I can keep my camera from flying off the, the edge of the universe. Now look at this. Here is the, it comes with the charging cable. I might as well just show you all this stuff real quick. It comes with a lot. So here's the charging base. And you can put this rubber on the bottom of it so you, if you don't want to attach it to anything and that way you won't scratch up the surface of anything. So that is very nice. And look at this, USB-C charging, baby. So when you set this in this, and, and it is just like everything else, Olight, has a very strong magnet. It'll sit on the table. It sets on the table like that. So you can have it charging and have the light on at the same time. So there's your charging base. You can use that or you can use the typical MCC, I believe it's called the MCC magnetic charger. So if you're an Olight fan, you already have one of these chargers that pops on the back and charges it up. So you have that option, you have this option, and it comes with a very long cord of USB-C to usb a that you can plug into pretty much virtually anything. Now, let me keep going. On top of that, it has a wall mount. So when you have this in your pocket, when you have this in your pocket and you come home, this, there's two ways. They come with screws or you can mount this to, you can mount this to the wall with screws or you can use the 3M tape. So if you want to have it next to the door, like when you're coming in and out, you just take, you just take it off your pocket and slip it in right there and it'll be on the door right next to your, you know, next to whatever, your workbench or your shop or whatever it is. This this wall mount is very cool. I like what they did there. It's easy on and off. So that, I mean, this, this light is just fantastic. It comes with all the extra accoutrement. It comes with extra 3M sticky things. You can use those. And then it also comes with the wall mounts. So it has everything you need. You don't have to buy any extras. But overall, this, this lantern feature is just, it's just so cool. I absolutely love it. And this one is the more natural light. 
and you can just set it on the table. And on low, I believe, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, on low, this thing will last like 21 days in lantern mode, which is just nuts. So there is the brand new Olight Prowess. I can't tell you how excited I am about this flashlight. And I love the fact that it's not a tight beam and it's not a huge wide open, uh, what do you call that, gap? <laughs> It's not the word I'm looking for, but the light is is very equal. It's good for actually use for walking the dogs and things like that where you don't want a spot and you don't want the bright light too wide. It's just right. And I wish I had a, an example, but unfortunately, I didn't get to film this at night and I don't even have a dark room in this house. But, but let's go ahead and go to the next one as much as I don't want to put this down. Now, these next couple, I'm going to run through them really quick. I think I've pre I'm pretty sure I've shown you all this one. I know I've shown you this one before. This is the titanium hex bit driver from O-Knife. Check it out. There's not a lot to see, but it does have two magnetic bit drivers. And then inside, you have four of these bad boys that have eight different sides. There's one inside there. There's three right there. It has a SL 3.5, a PH0, a T8, T6, H2, H1.5. You get the drift. All the little bits that you ever need, all the bits and pieces, they, they put in here. And then you can close it up, and it does have a little detent ball. And and it snaps into place and it holds them. It comes with the paracord. If you don't want paracord or you just want to drop this like in a, in a pouch or something like that, you can. Or you can make a fancy lanyard and be a Mr. Fancy Pants. But this is magnetic. So if you have some little bitty screws or you got to tighten your uh, glasses or something like that. If you're into EDC gear, this thing, I mean, I, I'm into EDC gear and you can't have enough bit drivers. You should have one in your car, one in your bag, one at work. You should have one everywhere in case one of your screws on your knife gets loose. And I, it does have T8s and T6s. So that is very nice. And I know all of this stuff will probably be on sale. And if for some reason, any of these things that I'm showing you are not on sale, I have a 10% discount code. Go through my link, you'll get 10% out with my code. All right, check this out. These, I don't know that these are new, but I do know that there's something I don't remember seeing before. This is the O-Tackle 5-in-1 tool. Would you look at them? I mean, just look at them. And the thing that I think is different, and I changed one of these, um, let me just show you. <laughs> Some people have never seen this before, but this is where you can lock the blade. So when it's in your pocket, by the way, this goes in your fifth pocket very well. This one's carbon fiber. These are G10. On the other side is stainless steel, but I can't push the blade out. And this little uh, knobby knob makes it easy so you can. So there's a click here and a click here. It has two steps for using for everything, for any kind of package opening, that kind of stuff. So on top of that, it's also a bottle opener. And then back here is a little mini, you can use this as a pry bar, a little scraper, or a flathead screwdriver. And then this dude right here, I believe is a quarter inch hex head, which is 6.35 millimeters, a hex wrench. This is an awesome little fifth pocket carry, but this is what the difference. It came with this, and I think maybe that's what's new, is it came with a screw and a replacement. So you can have whichever option you want. If you don't want the knobby sticking out a little bit, you can have it be flat like this. When I had it on there, I grabbed the little pocket tool to unscrew or screw this in. So you have options. And I, I love these. I have a few of these. And I use them all the freaking time. I'm probably going to give two or maybe all of these away. These are just some of the color, color, color. These are some of the color options and the variants of the O-Tackle 5-in-1. I think these are very cool. This next one, I'm giving a quick mention because I didn't even know, and a lot of people don't know, that this isn't the typical i3T EOS. This is the i3T Two EOS. It has the improved. Matter of fact, let me grab another one. They are new and improved, and I didn't even know they had the new and improvements. Here's the first thing that's obvious. If you look at the pocket clip on this one right here, the donut, and you can get the donut in the new version. I'll tell you the new things about this as quickly as I can. But the old ones, the clip clipped around the back, and it was possible to pull the clip off. These that's not gonna happen because it's screwed between the tail cap and the body. And there's there's a bunch of different versions. This one here is the dragon and phoenix which is really cool. This one is all pink. And this one has, that looks to me, that I believe that is a rose gold clip. And they're two directional clips. So you can clip them on your hat or anything like that. And these are, and I've talked about these many times, but there's always new people to the channel that haven't seen these. And these bad boys, have, they'll take for 10, 10 440 rechargeable lithium ions. So regular triple A's make these 200 lumens, which is extremely bright. 
But if you put a 10 440 rechargeable in these bad boys, they, it bumps them up to 300 lumens, which is very, very cool. And they're really simple to use, nice and clicky, five lumens on low that last for 21 hours. With that much light, it'll last 21 hours. And then you click it on high, or that's low, that's high. <laughs> on low, that will last for 21 hours, which is plenty of light. And then on high, which is now blinding me because I looked right into it, you're up there at 200 lumens. And the i3-T2, I had to learn this stuff. The i3-T2, the new and improved version, has 31% more battery life and 71% more percent run, more percent run time on high mode. And it also has a new chip or some new software on the inside that keeps it from going over 113 degrees. So that's some nice improvement to the i3T. Now you can get the upgraded i3T2 EOS. Very cool everyday carry flashlight. I love them to pieces. We've given away many, many, many i3Ts on the channel. And now we're upgrading to the new clip, baby. This is a limited edition open glow. Would you look at it? Just look at it. So this has a light down here for when you're riding. It also has a very bright light right here and it has a laser pointer. I'm, I'm go going through it quickly. You could also take this knife apart knife. Everything's a knife to me. You can take this light apart. You can use it separately, clip this light on something while you're riding. But I'll run you through the quick features of this bad boy. And this is a rechargeable flashlight. It's a rechargeable pin. And this is, matter of fact, this is what it looks like when it's sitting on the charger. On your desk, you can have this, this dude right here, you can stick that to your desk and there's a magnetic thing, but you basically, well, when it's sitting on your desk, you just put it in like that and it charges up. And it is unbelievable how bright this side light is. And I don't, where's the box? Found it. It's 120 lumens on high. You know, I would swear to Pete that it's brighter than 120 lumens, but there's your moonlight, low, medium. There's your runtime. So on low, it looks like it'll run for five hours. And then the pin tip LED is, what is that, 0 0.2 lumens? But anywho, let me check it out. Let me show you here. So when you have the pin opened and you want to write, you can click the, click the top and it illuminates where you're writing, which that is very cool. And then the other function is you can push straight up right here on the, uh, what do you call that dude there? The uh, bolt action, push up, you get your laser light, and then push again, it turns off. You click the top, turns on your light, and you can hold down and it'll cycle through. Oh my gosh. And then you could double tap for turbo, and then, click and turn it off. So this, these are, these are very, very cool. I have a few friends that have bought these and they really like them. It's very cool if you have a desk to sit it on because you just set it back down in there and it charges. And this light does come in handy big time. And hey, besides the fact that it's neat to always have a flashlight, this is dual purpose. You can clip this on a book or something while you're reading or, you know, do a little incognito writing. So that is the new Open Glow limited edition rechargeable pen. So there's the Open Glow, the prowess, uh, the Olight prowess. This is the star, the absolute star of the show. And then we have the Roboto 4, and then we have the i3T2 EOS, and then we have these little dudes, which are very cool. I'll be giving the, these away on the live stream every Friday night. Bees Blades, live at the hive. All right. And then this dude right here was a major surprise to me, the OKS2. That is bad arse. Uh, just so many cool things. I love Olight, I love gadgets, I love gizmos, I love gear. But let me know in the comments, which one of these things do you like the best? The new, re this is a new release. This is, this is, this right here is the showstopper. This thing is just freaking, I mean, it's awesome. You could literally have it on your belt and have it illuminating the ground and not be facing your eyeballs. So you could be walking and be able to see what you're doing and not have light in your eyes. This thing, this thing is for freaking awesome. This is gonna be my new dog walking light for sure. But leave me a comment. Don't forget to say hello and hit a thumbs up if you like my, my content and stop by on Friday nights for Bees Blades Live at the Hive. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the Hive streams, go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And I will give you comments and give you all the feedback you want when you come and hang out at the Hive. And remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.